couldn't she make stairs? With um, with wool. Oh, wool stairs. Oh, wool stairs. Two of the shaggiest of all the stairs. Dude, I'm making a. Oh. Mine, mine, mine's literally just like a whore dungeon. Mine's literally just like a dungeon. Yeah, mine will be it's, a dungeon behind the strip club. It's it's like just stone cold floors like a bed. It's like <laughs> you're where I get my strippers from. I sell you the strippers and you give me the money. Yep. We 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 split it fifty fifty. We split it fifty forty. Where's the other ten go? We don't know where the fuck it went. The strippers might have taken it. No, because well, they know that they. Them. Well, no, because no, they, 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 they know that they wouldn't get their dental if they didn't give us the money. Their dental. That's what they're worried about. <laughs> their dental. Alright. Alright, I stripped these frickin' lambs. Now the lambs are gonna be working at the strip club. The lambs? Why is that cow kind of a troll face? I, I should make a house, and like the, 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 the guy says, I sell whore and whore accessories, tell me, and then uh, when we steal on. a set, tell Mr. Stove and he'll give you a whore. I think you, I think you said Seto. Seto Kaiba. Seto Kaiba. Very funny. Net news get laid big time. Can't get card. Rational, rationality. Beat up old man for it. Can't get hurt rationally. Beat up old man, then proceeding to rip it in half. Then proceed to go to your house to lavishly rip it up in front of your enemy. <laughs> yes. Yes. More. Need more <laughs> souls. Oh, souls. So much souls. Beyond two souls. David Cage is a failure of the game design. The fact that David Cage's mother made him is a failure of the game design. I see he could have done something good with his life, but instead he made Indigo Prophecy. Oh my god, that game is so bad. What happened? Indigo, Indigo Prophecy, Prophecy is that's just what happened. so bad. You ever played it? Oh my god. I've never even heard of it. You know that what we shit. need to do, Sean, when we hang out? Oh god. Find what? We're gonna find that game. And we're gonna you play it, and it. we're gonna beat it. What is it for? It's for um PS2. It's for PC. It's for Xbox. It's for. Ew. So we're gonna. How old is the game? Pretty... I don't know the exact year it came out. Is it old? It's pretty old. Will it run on PCs these days? Because old games. Apparently don't run with newer versions of Windows because I've seen some play on PC, so Hello you all. Follow me. It's two thousand five. Oh, they don't run. Okay, yep, it's run. by a top oh we never mind. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, it's okay, yeah. PS2 and Xbox then released for Windows and Mac. This paranormal thriller. Ooh, <laughs> paranormal thriller. <laughs> thriller. <laughs> <laughs> so Life. Indigo Prophecy. It's also it's called Fahrenheit as well. Fahrenheit in the UK. Yep. Which makes more sense than fucking Indigo Prophecy. Does it make more sense? Does well, it? well, well. The thing is, well, cause, well, cause like every, it's everything's getting colder. Like the whole premise of the game is like this, like it's it's like super in the snow. UK, stuff. they don't use Fahrenheit. I know. They, oh, they did. <laughs> Isn't but that the English system? Thing, the, no, no, Celsius. no. No, the, the way, Fahrenheit no, is. The thing is, though, it takes place in America. That's the thing. But also, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit was first used in Germany. Yep. Yeah, I mean, but they included it with the English system, I guess. Yeah, and then they switched, yes. and we're too fucking stubborn. That's because English is based <coughs> mostly off German. The metric system is um super easy. Easier to understand. I have yes, so many fucking snowballs. Yes, it is. Because everything goes by. Thousand or tens. I gotta explain this. Explain. Expand this basement so I can make it bigger. The bigger Bro, the strip club. Explode? The bigger the strip club. The bigger the woman. Explode. Yeah, but no, we need to do that. We need to play because I never played the game. I've only seen it. <sighs> so if we can't beat Tombo, we're gonna play that. We should just play that. 
instead of Tama, because yeah. I'm never going to get past those flowers. Well, it's not that also, it's also a super fucking long game. Okay. But Tama, yeah. So. Wait, I'm not, I'm not, not, not Tomba, um, uh, Indigo Prophecy. God damn it, David Cage. Wait, Indigo Prophecy is a long game? It's a pretty long game. How long? Uh, a few hours, I don't know. I don't know its length, actually, but it's decently long. Decently long. Mm -hmm. Brought to you by K-Flex. Decently long. Brought to you by Half Viagra. Half Viagra? Gives yep. you half erections? Yes. I see. Do you need to see a doctor if it doesn't give you a half erection? There's you average full erection, times, see a wow, there's actually a site called, called GameLengths.com where the average game length is shown. Huh? Average time I thought is you were about eight. Okay, so the average time for this game is about eight hours. I thought you were gonna say there was a site uh, that shows you how long uh, Viagra should work. Okay. Um, is the Viagra whip with the up to date? I think so. Halo Two, a uh, twelve hours average length. Human. Double that for Legendary. Yeah. Halo what? Two on Legendary is probably one of the hardest games in existence. What about A Noble Prophecy on Legendary? Oh god. The quick time events are 0.1 seconds. The average. Oh wow. Okay, the average length for Revengeance is 6.3 hours. Um, That's pretty short. MGS1 is 5.5. MGS2 is 12.5. <coughs> MGS3 is 25.5. MGS4 is 18.7. Peace Walker is 72. So Portal there's Pops 8 is hours of gameplay and 10 hours of cutscenes? In uh yeah. Well again, this is average. This isn't the fastest or the slowest you can play. This is like they take everyone's scores and they add it together. Like yeah. when I beat Reve my fastest time for being Revengeance is five hours. But um MGS four my fastest time is four hours. MGS one, it's it's like four hours. Because you skipped all the cutscenes, that's why. Yeah. My fastest time completing um uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 is 3 hours, 58 minutes, 28 seconds. Yeah, it's just basically 4 hours. Yeah, it's about 4 hours. Yeah. Because you I really, literally, that. there's no way to get anything lower. I know that because I took a screen cap and put it as my background on my phone. Yeah. Like it looks really height. good. It looks really good as my background. I like it. The average play length of Tomba, if it even shows up, nope, it doesn't even show up. <laughs> it's too old. Why would you uh, play about that game? Uh, Super Mario World. I've never played that. Oh, it's. Uh, you it's... never played that? Nope. I already played, I played Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, though. Yes. Uh, yeah, that was one of my first games. Okay. I've also played Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario, the original Super Mario Bros. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Super Mario Bros. 3. Just... I think the game's too old to show up on this. I think this game, oh. doesn't, I think this game only shows up. Oh, yeah, that's right. And it's a side scroll, and if you lose all your lives, you start over. Start over what? The whole game? Yeah. No, you don't. Super Mario Bros. 3. Oh, that's right. You start over the world. Yeah. No, not the world either. What are you talking about? It's Super Mario Bros. 3, yeah. No. Maybe the NES version. Oh, yeah. You played the Game Boy Advance version. Yeah, I played the Game right? Boy Advance version. Where it saves the last level you were on. And if you beat every level, it unlocks them and you can play them again. And all that yeah, shit. Yeah, you could also play like, the special version. If you beat the whole thing twice. Special version? What's that? On the Game Boy Advance, um, the, the, the levels turn black and have yellow sparkles on them. Damn. It, it's pretty legit. I like it. I, I so I should definitely beat that again. Just so I can... I beat Super Mario Bros. 3 two or three times, I want to say. I, I remember play it on back my when I played Super Mario Bros. Freaking, um, there was one level... <coughs> Where like ever like the colors was like they were like palette swaps so, like the trees were like this white and like the sky was black and so was the ground. Mm. And, like, so this, the it was yeah. thing. was it World Seven? I think it was World Seven. Is that the original? Yeah, World Tomorrow Seven World? is yeah, usually the original. A snow world. Yeah, yeah, that's the world. Trust me, the hardest fucking level in that entire fucking franchise is that on hard mode. It is the fucking abysmal. It is oh. That level gave me my first fucking rage. God, is that eight, level fucking hard. 8-3 was the first level I actually had trouble with in Super Mario Bros. 
because oh, of the oh, hammer bros that were that were sitting on the ground. I'm like, how the fuck do I get by this damn thing? I always never had a fucking mushroom. Oh, oh, it's be you're supposed to dodge in between them, jump on the first one, and then get inside the loop of the second one, and then jump on it when there's a space. Yeah, I was like six years old. I couldn't fucking figure that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was six years old. I, I was too busy playing freaking Pokemon and excite bikes. I didn't have Pokemon. Pokemon. The, the small amount of time that I had on Pokemon Silver until I lost it. Oh. I got the Elite Four, and then I was, and I couldn't beat it, and then I lost it. Oh, I'm sad now. And I can never find my Pokemon Silver again. It's just sad. I had a Typhlosion. Ooh, I can't wait till my 3DS comes so I can pick up Y. Wait, you're ordering a 3DS? I, didn't I not say this? Oh, you, you bought it. Uh, did you buy it on? Uh, I got it. I something. got it. I I bought. I pre-ordered the special edition one. Oh, and for um, X and Y. For X and Y, I'm getting the red one, and then I'm getting Y when that comes out. But when I go there to pick it up, I'm getting Monster Hunter Three Ultimate. I'm gonna get X version. I I, I don't approve of that mutant. You are the and first. first you are the first person I've ever met who's getting X. X. I like what because because of the. Because Y version, the legendary looks badass. I like the yeah. bird. That's yeah. why I'm getting it. <laughs> what is the what type is the deer? Fucking fairy. It's fa fuck that. Okay, I'm getting Y. <laughs> <laughs> what type is the bird? Fire. Dark and flying, I think. Dark and okay. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like That's it. actually a good combination because you can't. Cool. Dude, dark and flying sounds yeah. like a skarmory that's badass. Bug types Ooh, can't touch that. Super skarmory. Dude, Skarmory is fucking rad. I love Skarmory. And you can get the original starters, and I'm like, I'm Charmander all the way. Um, Squirtle. Squirtle's good too. So is Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Well, they're all good. No, but but you know Bulbasaur what? always gets shit on. You know Bulbasaur. what? Third generation Skeptile? Pretty fucking yeah. good. Skeptile is pretty cool. I like Skeptile. He I like Skeptile. Christmas tree. He's a cool guy. If if I had starters to choose from and he was one of them, I'd choose him because he's such a bro. Granted, Blaziken was pretty badass with his sky upper No, but... I'm not going to pick a chicken for my fucking starter. Fucking love chickens. <laughs> no, fuck that. I no, want these new ones. I want a rad ass so... turtle or a rad ass fucking lizard. Alright, so like these. Alright, so like these. A turtle? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, tur yeah. No. Oh, Swampert's a turtle. Swampert is not a turtle. You, you said rat ass turtle. So yeah, Squirtle. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought you. I thought you were sticking with level th like the third generation. Oh right? no no. Okay. Now, now, like this new star is from what I can see. There's a fucking Firefox. <gasps> there's a yeah. Mozilla. Um, yeah, can Mozilla if I get it. There's there's a grass otter and there's a frog. A grass Freaky. otter. Huh. Yeah, grass it's like a, otter. Like, yeah, it's like a it's like an otter, but it's like a grass type. It's got like leaf. It's got like leaves on its arms, so it looks like it's like trying to fly. And I'm like that, that thing looks stupid. Thing. And then we have a new Eevee. And then we have there's a fucking frog. There's a new. Oh yeah, isn't there a fairy type Eevee? Yeah, what the hell is it called? I, um, I've expected that. Like I've expected a new Eevee to come out with every fucking Pokemon game. And they have. Yeah, pretty much. Except, except for Gen third generation. Three. Yeah, but they, but then again, oh, and Gen they, Five. They, I think they. I don't think they came out with Gen Five either. Was, could you even get Eevee in Gen 5, legitly? Uh, it's I only the games we, I, think, I think it's only the games you can get legitly there's a new evolution. I know they just give it to you in some games. Yeah, like the, well, the first one, obviously. Uh, Gen 2, I don't remember how you get it. I think after you beat the Elite 4, if you talk to Bill and Goldenrod, he gives it to you. Bill. Bill Nye. I just about to say that. Bill Sly, the science guy. Bill Nye, the Nazi spy. I mean, science guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bill Sly. Bill Sly, the science guy. Bill Sly, your mortgage bills. What? <laughs> Bill Sly, your mortgage bills. What the fuck? Skeleton, I will take out your kneecaps, thank you. Bill Cry, the science guy. Bill, my neighbor's there, ass. Don't any old guy? How do I? How do I? Oh, the yellow flowers. That's right. I have two. I have two yellow flowers. Dandelion yellow. Do I have any more flowers? I do. I have four more. Yeah. I didn't organize so, any of my shit. We played indigo. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make pizza for the first time in fucking ten years. 
Ooh. and we're gonna see if we don't die from it. Why are we gonna die from pizza? Um, I don't. Maybe you poisoned it. Oh wait, I die from the game? Yes, the, the game and the game pizza. Poisons your eyes. Us. I thought we were gonna make the pizza on the day we watch all the episodes. Ew, we'll this both. yellow is fucking gross. Maybe we'll do both. I don't know. This yellow is fucking or, gross, but um, I need it. Well, we, we, yeah, or are we really just gonna watch every episode in yeah. one sitting, not stop? Just keep yeah. going. It also takes a while. Going to faggot land, I guess. The pizza. Yeah, because like I guess I make the dough by hand. Break bad. in between TV seasons. That's what it's gonna be. No yeah, done. yeah. Bathroom break. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bathroom no comparison break. It's you said we gotta take notes like freaking nerds. Does so the dong. game come up with a good? Who broke this glass here? It looks like it was broken a while ago. Utra. Utra. I mean, Sly. Sly. There you go, Sly. <laughs> well, Utra did it when he was a hitman. Ah, uh, he did. Yeah, he I'm did. uh. Hitman. Whoa! Yeah. Holy sheep, man! Oh my God, they're just swarming me. I have a feeling Trevor in GTA Five is crazy because he's been he's been up for like what a week. Well, yeah. no, well, no, no, he was that diagnosed mission. with crazy for how much? Oh, yeah, he's crazy. He was diagnosed. Yeah, being up for a week isn't gonna help. No, not like Trevor. It's no. gonna make you insane. I mean, I basically for me, he looks like Grizzly Adams. He walks around in a hunting jacket with a huge ass beard. <laughs> All my characters have beards. Franklin looks like fucking. What's that comedian? I don't know. I don't know the comedian's name, but he looks so racist, and I didn't try to do that. Mm. And then, um, freaking. Mike looks like Max Payne, but with more hair. Huh. And he look he looks a bit like Robert De Niro. Mm, Max Payne from Max Payne 3. Wait, what, Mike looks like Robert De Niro? Yeah, with how I have him look right now, he looks like Robert De Niro. Yeah, like, Michael does not look like Max Payne from Max Payne 1. No, Max Payne 3, Max Payne. Yeah, That's, Max Payne yeah. Max Payne 1, he looks like a friggin' like... Duck face, yeah, duck face the whole time. And it's almost a duck face. No, in, in Max Payne 3, you could use the Max Payne 1 skin, he's in, like, permanent duck face. Oh, really? Yeah, it's gross. And then the Max <laughs> Payne 2 is better, but, like, the mouth has trouble moving. Oh. So, like, oh. Oh. Gross. That's pretty funny. Yeah, but no, so, like, next time you go and, like, choose, like, the biggest beard you can get with Michael <laughs> and, like, most mulleted, the most like mulleted looking one beard. from Michael, and he looks like Robert Nero. Huh. <laughs> Robert De Niro. Yeah. Fuck. That's why I saw. Like, I was gonna... And, like, then I just made him shave his head, and I'm like, oh, he looks like Max Payne. Have you guys ever seen uh, Meet the Parents? Yeah. I, yes. Well, wait, wait, wait. No, I don't think The I have. creepiest or funniest part is uh, just when he just goes, Greg's a male nurse. Just what he does. I was Greg's thinking of... Um, I'm just gonna pull it up, see if I can find it. Just watch. Just if I, I think, can find this, see. Just watch what Robert De Niro does. John, I think when you were saying that, I was thinking of the Faulkners. Oh yeah, has anybody's Google page changed? Because there's no more bar up top that has YouTube and all that shit. No, mine's still there. Yeah, mine's being weird. Hmm. Let me see. Uh. Oh, look at that! I can type it right in. Huh. Yeah, okay, I wasn't mistaken. He actually did. My my Michael kind of looks like Robert De Niro, but like with young, but like young Robert De Niro with a beard. A young uh, Robert De Niro with the hips. The fuck? Okay. Um, yeah, I need to organize my stuff like crazy. Like, my stuff is so fucking messy. But I don't want to break the boxes because all the stuff will go fucking everywhere. Damn, he's 70 years old. Oh, no, wait, it's not he this is? part. It's not this yeah. part. Yeah. Oh, I thought yes, he was in like his 50s what or 60s. No. Born Damn. 1940. Born I know where it is. I know where it is. Dude, he lived through the 50s? Scene, so. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> is he? I wonder if he's is he still acting and stuff? He is. Who is? Robert De Niro. Yeah, he's still acting. Damn. Like, he's in schedule for something in, like, fucking 2015 here on IMDb. Are you serious? All right, I don't think yeah. I'm going to find it. I don't think I'm gonna find it. It's gonna be like Damn. a taxi cab remake. It's no, it's called Candy Store. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah. It's gonna be the creepy. The acting without the dialogue. 
Okay. He's going to be the creepy owner of the An undercover store. agent begins his new life as a beat as a beat cop in Brooklyn, but finds his past life comes back to haunt him. <laughs> that's, that's the story of Candy Store. Oh my what god, that sounds so generic. I know, like, what the fuck?